Here with the newest Arizona Cardinal, Marquise Hollywood Brown. First of all, are we calling you Marquise or are we calling you Hollywood? Oh, uh, whatever, whatever suits you, whatever, you, whatever you feel comfortable with. Uh, you made it here to the Valley very quick last night. Got a warm welcome at the uh, at the draft party. How long has this been kind of in your head that this was a possibility that the Cardinals were a landing spot for you? Uh, probably the last week. Um, I probably was feeling pretty confident about it. I mean, it's something that we wanted, but this last week I, I started to feel confident. And when I got the call, you know, I was very excited. You and Kyler have been putting this out in the universe for, for some time now to finally make it a, a reality at the NFL level. I mean, what does that mean for, for both of you? Uh, it means a lot. I mean, you know, we've been talking about this since 2019. So for it to actually happen, it's kind of crazy. And it's, it's kind of like, all right, let's do it now. Like, it's here. You know, it's time to get to work. You guys were working out in Dallas. Is the, uh, is the connection is still as good as it once was back at OU? Yeah, we, we ain't miss a beat, definitely. You guys put up some insane numbers there when you guys were Sooners, uh, led obviously to Kyler winning the Heisman Trophy. But uh, what made your guys' connection so special at OU? Uh, I just think um, the knowledge of the game. I mean, we studied with each other. We uh, understood you know, what we were going against, the opponents we were going against. So it, it made it easy for him to trust me, and I, I made it easy for me to trust him. Now you guys will do it with three years of experience under your belt at the NFL level. I mean, what have you learned since then about your game, and what have you noticed about his just as you guys both evolve as, as NFL players? I just learned so much, you know, being in the NFL. It's a different game from college, and just how however to use my speed, when to use my speed, and, you know, just route running, period. You know, I, I learned a great deal. And for him, I've just been watching. He's been getting better, you know, each year. I've been watching him, you know, making decisions. Um, doing whatever you have to do to win. You guys got some pretty good receivers here to uh, maybe take some of the heat off of you when you get to line up alongside DeAndre Hopkins, AJ Green, Rondell Moore. I mean, that's uh, yeah. some pretty good weapons. Yeah, I'm very excited for that. I mean, you know, I'm coming from, you know, Baltimore where we might have one receiver yeah. on the field and, you know, I'm getting clouded and double covered. So, you know, with DeAndre Hopkins and AJ Green and Rondell, you know, it's going to be, you know, pick your poison. Cliff Kingsbury said that he liked uh, some of the similarities that, of the offense that you guys ran at, at Oklahoma. What do you notice about the offense Cliff's running here in Arizona and how you can fit in uh, with these guys right away? I definitely bring me back to my days at <laughs> OU, and you know, I'm excited to, to know all the possibilities and the ways you know, that I can get used in this offense. All right, just the excitement level for you coming to the Valley, obviously, last night, but this team that uh, got off to the best start in the NFL last year, I mean, what do you look towards as you know, expectations early on uh, for next season? Uh, just to keep it going, you know, um, try to win as many games as we can and win that Super Bowl. All right, I, one more question for you. I can't let you go without asking about the necklace. That thing uh, is sweet, man. Thank uh, you. What's, what's the backstory there? Uh, just, you know, representing my city, you know, Hollywood, Florida, and, you know, just for all the kids back home, just keep giving them motivation. All right, we'll see if Hollywood can put on a show for the Arizona Cardinals this coming season.